Good morning all, Mary Bolger here, naturalist with Iowa County Conservation, and I wanna welcome you to our Critters Live this morning. Um, today, we are going to be talking about one of our uh, most beloved birds, our national bird, the bald eagle. Um, and as always, if you are watching and you have a comment or question, I'll go ahead and type those in the comments and I will be happy to do my best to answer them for you. Um, so I picked the bald eagle for this time of year because um, believe it or not, they are very active. We see a lot of activity from bald eagles this time of year, especially in the winter time because they are coming down from colder regions up north um, to be able to find food here in Iowa. We do have a um, eagles that stay here all year round, but we see a lot more here in Iowa um, during this time of year. So, of course, the bald eagle, this is kind of the um, picture that we kind of all know, the bald eagle, that big um, bird with large dark body except for its white head and tail feathers. Um, now this is an adult bald eagle. Um, they get those colors when they are about four or five years old. We'll look at some pictures in just a little bit of an immature or younger ones and how they look different. So when it comes to bald eagles, they are a bird that it is in a larger group of birds called raptors. And all raptors have some similar characteristics that make them unique. Um, they are all carnivores, which means they only catch um, and eat animals. Um, sometimes they f scavenge on carrion or dead animals, but they're only eating meat. They're not eating any type of plant materials. And to be able to do that, they have to have some special physical adaptations. So th some things about their bodies that help them catch their food and eat their food. And if you take a close look at um, this is a close-up of the raptor head, and this is a great picture to see um, a couple of those adaptations. Their large hooked beak, and so bald eagles, they're a large bird, of course. A wingspan for an adult bald eagle can be seven to eight feet. They can stand about three feet high from the bottom of their feet to the top of their head if they're just standing, so very large. Their head is also very large, as well as their beak. Um, so they use their beak after they've caught their food or find food, kind of like a knife. So they use it to cut their food into smaller bite-sized pieces. It's very sharp um, and they can use it to do that. Um, and another thing that is true with a bird that is out during the daytime, like uh, a, it's called a diurnal bird, um, bald eagles, they also have a, kind of, this is called a bony ridge right above their eye, and that helps keep the sun out of their eyes when they're flying because they are hunting and active during the daytime and they rest at nighttime. Another characteristic that is true of all raptors is they have special feet. So they have feet called talons. Um, and this is a close up picture with a human hand in there kind of comparing in size. Bald eagles have very, very large talons about the size of an adult human hand if it's all kind of reached out. Now what those talons do for the bald eagle is they allow them to catch um, their food. They use their talons kind of like a fork to grab the way we use a fork. Um, we grab our food with our fork and pierce it. Um, and so they're using that um, when they're catching food the way we use a fork. Um, so very large. Now, when it comes to um, raptors also, I have something that I kind of want to show you a little bit here. So this is a bald eagle skull replica, which means it's not a real bald eagle skull. It's made from plastic, but it's, it is the same size, same shape. And we're kind of looking at some of the um, bone structure here of the raptor skull. So there's that big beak, that big curved beak right here. Um, again, allowing it to, to tear its food into smaller bite-sized pieces. It has pretty big nostrils, though most birds don't have a very good sense of smell. They use them more for breathing. And then those huge eye sockets right in here. Um, they have large eyes and they have excellent vision. That's one of their senses that helps them find their food, their um, sense of vision, and then also their sense of hearing as well. 
Um, and so when a raptor is, um, when it finds its food, when a bald eagle um, and a raptor both, um, when it finds its food, it's going to use its talons. This is a picture of a bald eagle um, flying down or going down to try to catch something to eat. So you can see that it is putting its talons first because that is what it's gonna use to grab its food. Now, what do bald eagles like to eat? Many different things. The main thing though, that maybe you already know, is they love to eat different kinds of fish. So I have just a picture of some of the things that they like to eat. Um, different kinds of fish like catfish, trout, um, shad, which are, are those little silvery fish, different kinds of sunfish, but that's not the only thing. They'll take advantage of whatever they can um, if they can't find, usually things around water because they're kind of centered and live around water. They'll eat waterfowl like ducks and things like that, shorebirds. They'll eat small mammals like muskrats. They'll eat reptiles like big snakes, and they'll also eat large amphibians if they can find them. Um, but their preferred food, of course, is fish. Um, they will take advantage, though, too, of carrion or dead animals. During the winter time here in Iowa, sometimes we have roadkill, sometimes we have different things like that. So here we have a bald eagle eating a roadkill raccoon. Um, so they will take advantage of that. That's um, an easy meal for them. They help, um, just like other scavengers like turkey vultures, they help clean up different things um, that have died or have been hit by cars or different things like that. So they will take advantage of that because it's a lot less effort for them to catch, um, to eat a dead animal than it is to catch and eat um, a live animal. So remember I said that the bald eagle is um, very active this time of year. Not, they not only move down here uh, because there are opportunities for them to find food, um, there's open water in some places so they can find the fit, their favorite food, fish, um, but they also will move down here. It's a little bit warmer um, and it is breeding time for them. If you are a fan maybe of watching live animal webcams, you may know about the Decora webcam. Um, this year, their nest has moved, so it's not the same as it has been in the past, um, but um, they are um, usually using that same spot, a pair of eagles, they will mate for life um, if, they are, um, if they both live long lives, and then they will build a nest. Their nests, are massive. Um, they can be up to, you know, between one and two tons. So they're huge. These are large birds. So they're going to need large nests. And what will happen is the male bald eagle will return to the nest first. He will do a little bit of tidying up this time of year. And then the female will return. She might do a little more tidying up too. They will mate um, and then they will lay eggs. And that's all happening this time of year, even when it is very cold and snowy. Um, so very, very large nests because their young are going to be very large. I have an example here of a bald eagle egg replica. Again, same size and shape as a bald eagle egg, but um, made of plastic. But you can see this is a very large egg. Um, it's probably two or three times the size of a chicken egg. Um, and these are large birds. They need to um, have that huge, large nest and their eggs are gonna be large as well. Um, oh, let's see. So I said, I have a hello. Hello, thanks for watching today. Um, so I have a picture here too of a um, nest, uh, an adult bald eagle feeding it's young. When they first hatch out, they're very, very small, of course, but they grow quickly. Um, they are covered in kind of a grayish, whitish down, the young here. Um, and the parents are very, very good parents. They are going and finding food as much as they can when they're young. One adult um, will stay with them and the other will go and fish or find food, bring it back to the nest and then go out and do that again. Average, um, they lay one to three eggs. Um, usually it's more one to two, but um, their, their nests again have to be gigantic because by the time these chicks are um, 
able to leave the nest, they're going to be the same size as the adults. So they grow pretty quickly because their parents are really great at bringing them food, fish, and anything really that they can find. They feed them. This is actually a picture of a bald eagle parent feeding their, um, so they're using their, their curved hook beak to tear into smaller pieces um, and feeding it to their young, and they'll do that for a couple months. This is what the bald eagle nestlings will look like before they leave the nest. Um, they're going to be very large um, and they're going to be dark in color. You can see this does not look like an adult bald eagle. Um, it doesn't have those white head and tail feathers. They're all brown. Their beaks are dark as well. Oh, let's see if I have a picture here. Let's see, if real hungry, would they catch a smaller dog? And that's a great question. Um, one thing that I didn't mention when I was talking about bald eagles and their food um, and their size. So the average adult bald eagle is about eight pounds. They can't catch um, anything. The largest thing they could catch and carry and lift away is about four pounds. As well as usually when they have... Um, Adult, our, our pets are near people and to a bald eagle people are predators they're something they want to stay away from so they're going to stay as far away from us as as possible you've probably maybe you've been outdoors and you've come up on a bald eagle near a tree and you don't get very close and they fly away so they're afraid of us so they're going to stay away um and so i would say most likely not um, catching a small dog. Um, plus they, they prefer fish and something that's a little bit easier to catch. Um, so great question, thanks for asking. So again, this is a picture of the um, a immature bald eagle before they leave the nest, still very large, just different in color. So if you can imagine um, that nest having to be so large, we have two adult bald eagles, the parents, and up to three young ones. That nest is gonna get pretty crowded before they leave. And what they'll do before they leave, those nestlings, is they will practice flying. They'll stretch their wings, they'll jump, and then they'll move out onto branches near um, that are attached to the um, nest and they will practice flying and then they'll finally take that leap and take the jump and um, fly. But they'll still stay where near where their parents are and their parents will continue to feed them even after they have left the nest for a while. So here's a great picture of an immature bald eagle um, that is again under four years of age. It still has those um, dark head and tail feathers, but you can see underneath the underside is a little bit spotty. And so what will happen, these feathers that are on the underside, those will get all dark as well. We can tell that this is an immature because of its coloration, but still is a good flyer. So one thing that's really great about having um, bald eagles around this time of year is you can go and view bald eagles. Um, great places to view bald eagles are near bodies of water. So I have a river here and this is called an eagle roost. You can see if you take a look, all of those black dots there, it's kind of a far off picture, are bald eagles. There are about 25 bald eagles in this tree right here, um, but um, so what they're doing is they're gathering around that open water so they can still do a little bit of fishing and find food, um, either looking for that food. Um, what they'll do, they'll do that during the daytime when temperatures should be higher. And then at nighttime, they will come to their roost here. Um, and because they might be a little bit close together, they can share a little bit of that body warmth and it's just a safe place for them to spend the night and then the next morning they will get up again and try to do some fishing. So if they're not, if they don't have a nest, they will use a large tree along the water. So um, that's just a little bit about bald eagles. Um, what I would encourage you to do this time of year is if you want to go view some bald eagles, take a pair of binoculars, sometimes you might even not need them, go to a river that might have some open water. So around roller dams and different things would be a great place or larger rivers near bridges. Um, you can usually find those bald eagles. You might even know a place where there's a bald eagle nest somewhere near you. Um, they're very active this time of year. So um, good chance to get and see them flying and um, do some bald eagle viewing. 
some great places here in Iowa County that we have always seen lots of bald eagles. Around Gateway Park in the Iowa River near Marengo is a great place. Also, we have the English River in the southern part of the county. Um, here at Lake Iowa Park too, we sometimes have some open water and have bald eagles that hang around as well. So um, get outside and go do some bald eagle watching. If there were questions that you have that I did not answer for you, uh, go ahead and put those in the comments, um, or you can email me at mbulger at co.iowa.ia.us. You can also um, uh, do some requests for Future Critters Live if there's something that you wanna learn about in the future, I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, if you want to see some of our past episodes, we have them here on our Facebook page as well as on our YouTube page. Just search for Iowa County Conservation and the Critters Live playlist. Um, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine and also the warmer temperatures. It's supposed to get into the upper 30s today, so get outside and enjoy some of that sunshine. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.